And it is clear the impact that this has had on the Everett community. You don't have to look far to see signs of respect for the fallen officer. The procession made its way along Evergreen Way here. It was quick, it was efficient, and just about everybody we saw stopped to watch and pay respect. On a day that called for rain. Uh, we got a break. It's nice. Somebody's taking care of us. Sunshine lit up the city streets. Pretty safe to say the town's been consumed with it. It's a big thing. For just a few minutes, it seemed that everything paused in Everett as the procession for Officer Dan Rocha traveled down Evergreen Way. I mean, you know, you got a guy who, who late in life made a decision to, uh, you know, uh, protect a community. And, uh, uh, you know, and he, he did his best doing it. Rocha found his calling later in life, joining the department in his late 30s. But it's clear he made an impact in just a few years. Monday morning, a line of emergency vehicles stretched for nearly two miles, starting near the Everett Mall and ending at the Angel of the Winds Arena, the site of his memorial. It's heart wrenching. It's very moving. I feel a lot of emotions, angry, sad. A community that is now in mourning. Everett's a small, big city. I mean, it's uh, you know, it's a pretty tight community, really, and it's uh, um, it's hard not to be affected by something like this. A show of support for an officer that leaves behind a wife and two children.